What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to a Subscriber Showdown, episode three. And we are playing a guy, I think, called Mukatar. I think that's his name anyway. But if you guys want to check this series out and you want to play me, come at me. I'm taking all challengers. I'll be tweeting out on Twitter and I will be putting up a post on YouTube with the lobby when I'm live. It happens at random times, but I am trying to make it a bit more regular and we are going to be live streaming as well. So just a recap of the rules, which yeah, bit of an issue with this match, obviously that I had already started to record. We'll get into it in a second, but the team strength we have is 2-2-5-0. Now, as you can see, this guy's team, obviously he's playing a 4-2-4. And he's got a serious team. He's got Mendy with 95 rated overall in goal. Messaging and stuff like that. But we got off to a good start in this game. Anthony causing huge problems again. We nearly slip a ball through. And again, I just get a lucky break. And that is a brilliant start within five minutes of the first match against Armada. That is the guy's team name, Armada or Armada. And Ronaldo scores a beautiful goal there. And to be honest with you, lads, this, this was a very, very strange um, match experience. So the first game, I felt like... It started, a lot of crazy stuff started to happen and this followed through into the second match as well where I just felt it was very, very, very unresponsive and my connection was really poor um, throughout the whole game. And obviously it's hard to tell sometimes because, you know, when you are playing with the bad players, they are going to make a lot of bad mistakes and a lot of issues are going to be seen with the gameplay because your players aren't going to be super, super fast or whatever. But it was, yeah, it just felt really unresponsive. Um, I couldn't really... Uh, my my shot cancels, my dribbling was, was kind of way out of touch. I was just trying to keep things as simple as possible, but you'll see a couple of instances. I'm not going to, as I said, look, this isn't, uh, you know, Dream Team Chronicles where I'm going try hard and I'm coming up against really, really good guys that are playing extremely, you know, aggressive or that are playing, you know, trying to get up to divisions because there's something to play for. This is a bit of crack, a bit of banter, and I will be doing live episodes of this as well where we will be talking you know, live and doing the face cams and everything and having a bit of crack with it. And hopefully over time, we will be doing live streams on it. Um, but yeah, it was just a weird game, even there for him. In fairness, he got hard done by there. Anthony should have no right to get to that ball. It just felt like there was a bit of an issue with the connection. I did message him after the first match and after the second match or midway point during the second match um, to ask him. So hopefully we'll be able to, to, to kind of, yeah, touch base again. Um, with Armada, Armada, if you are watching, yeah, ho uh, hopefully we'll be able to touch base again and settle uh, this because as you guys will see here, I was flying it in the first game and I just, you know, obviously was just trying to keep things as simple as possible. Um, but yeah, there was definitely a couple of issues for me um, with the connection, with the responsiveness, with the actual uh, maybe just the servers at that given time. So, yeah, again, as I said, no excuses. Um, you know, win, lose, or draw, it is a bit of crack with the games. Um, but it is kind of frustrating, obviously, if you are suffering with a bad connection. So um, that is obviously something to watch out for, especially if you are playing friend lobby matches. You know what I mean? There's nothing really to play for apart from having a bit of crack. Um, but, yeah, again, taking that in a way, brilliant goal. This is probably the goal of the game. Absolute beautiful goal. And it is that man himself, Anthony, a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of payback. I do let him obviously watch all the replays, which I like. I like watching the replays to see what I could have done in that split second a little bit better or if there's a nice angle on the goal. But from here, I kind of felt like I needed to get the third goal, lads, because I felt like he was going to score a second again. And again, you can see here, I'm just trying to clear the ball, trying to get it out. Cristiano Ronaldo, brilliant in the air as usual. Martial, I take the little one touch. Ronaldo gets through. Again, as I said, there was a lot of crazy stuff happening in these two games that we played. Very strong from Ronaldo. Get the ball with Martial and Paul scores The little finesse finish. And I felt like that was going to be the sealer and the dealer, lads, because... 3-1 up with 55 minutes on the clock even though the connection was very dodgy for me and I felt like I wasn't in full control of stuff I did feel like I would not concede two goals um, to be able to take all three points in this first fixture there's a lovely little angle there from Scolzi and they're the type of goals that I like to score just slot them home now from the kickoff here as you can see we still have a couple of issues with the gameplay that 
you do kind of see, as I said, Armada was playing with a 4-2-4 formation. So it wasn't a very a very aggressive formation, obviously. Um, but, you know, I was dealing with it fairly okay. But I, I kind of felt like I was just always one interception being caught away from the, the counter-attacks. As you can see, there, an actual really good save from my 69-rated overall goalkeeper. Um, but, yeah, it just felt like it was one counter-attack away from actually conceding or even conceding two goals. So even though I had the lead and I felt like fairly okay, I felt like I needed to get to like the 70th minute before I conceded again. And then disaster strikes. Danny Blind with an absolute rocket of a shot into the top roof of the net. And now we've got a game in our hands. 3-2, 60 minutes on the clock, a half an hour left to go. You can just see here, there and everywhere that I'm just at sixes and sevens at the back. We get to the 80th minute. It was a very tense game after this. And to be honest with you, uh, Armada, he did actually go very aggressive with the tactics. You can see there he's playing uh, all out attack. So I felt like I could get a fourth goal, but it just wasn't flowing for me up front, man. It just wasn't flowing for me. You can see there, as I uh, keep repeating, there was a lot of crazy stuff happening. I don't know. It wasn't the connection. This game wasn't as bad, but I felt like I got a lot of luck in this game. A lot of like lucky breaks because the connection was like just a little bit off and you'll see in episode four um and obviously in the previous two episodes that we played with this um you know that i didn't have these issues with the connection win lose or draw you know so it is just something to keep an eye out and also it is something to keep an eye out on the team strength with this player squads and the subs and all that as well i might have to put in a couple of more rules to make it you know as fair or else i'll just increase my team strength a little bit but you know, I don't want to be coming up against guys that have Mbappe every single game or Haaland every single game. You know, if I want that, I can just play, uh, you know, the normal divisions where there's actually something to play for. So we do get the win there with 3-2. And then we go into this match where, apart from this first chance that I get, this was an absolute disaster of a game for me. You'll see a lot of the crazy stuff happening where I literally just felt like my players were walking through quicksand i couldn't player switch properly i couldn't change players fast enough every time i got on the ball it just felt labored and slow i was making a lot of bad mistakes as well it wasn't just the game or the connection but yeah this one did kind of reach my boiling point with the connection that i just felt like his players were ghosting through me and again, taking nothing away from Armada. He's a fantastic player. He was a Division One player, as far as I know. Um, really, really good player. Very, very balanced, balanced team. And he absolutely destroyed me in this second game. Uh, you know, he had Messi up front, obviously. Um, as I said, I didn't actually get a look at his substitutions until the second game. And obviously, I do want to be, you know, obviously a bit more strict going forward with the rules, um, which is you'll see in episode four and episode five, which is the live com um you know the the rules are going to be more a tier, a tier to in terms of the team strength and stuff like that but yeah i mean as you said as you can see here i was just conceding goals the head was gone obviously this was when the connection started to really go downhill for me um with like instances like this where like simple passes just weren't happening for me and i think when it happens it's very hard to kind of for it to come across when you're recording episodes it's just it's something you can feel in your hands or you can feel in the actual controls i'm not too sure if you guys can see it on screen like to me watching this back while i'm doing the commentary and analyzing it it kind of looks fairly okay you know what i mean but i can obviously know what i was feeling at that time that i was trying to turn or trying to player switch and even though it might have done it or might have did it it was taking that like you know split second like there then you have moments like that with Anthony where I just tried to get the ball back in. That's just good defending from him, no doubt about it. And then you can just see he's playing four up front. Um, and like literally I was just not able to, not able to, um, you know, to, to, to defend it really. Because he was bombing forward with four players at all times. A little touch and go. Um, and then he's true again here with Dan Juma. And he's not going to miss from there with a 69 rated keeper in goal. So the game was kind of over from this stage at 3-0. 77 uh, overall, Dan Juma was always going to slot that home. It's a nice intricate pass, and that's kind of how people mostly play the triangles on Dream Team. So, yeah, I am. Look, lads, give me a bit of feedback on it, what you guys should think. Should I reduce the team strength a little bit? Um, you know, because obviously, you know, having a 98 overall Messi in the squad is probably, you know, obviously going to be extremely hard for me to, to compete against when I've got PK who's super, super slow. I've got Ashley Young overall, that's like, what, 74 overall, and Raphael right back, that's like 72 overall. We've got Garnacha up front, that's like 70 overall. 
as I said, it's not making excuses because there's nothing to be won or gained, uh, you know, or lost by by winning or losing these matches. It's a bit of crack. That's probably my best chance of the game. Some nice passing there. But let me know on some feedback for it, lads. You know, because I don't want this turning into a series where... Um, you know, everybody's got a fairly good team. Like, I want this to be kind of like a random one. So I think I probably will change the rules up a little bit. Um, you know, maybe that you can't have a player over 90 rated or something like that, um, which might be which might be better. And obviously, you have to play the player in the position as well. But as I said, look, I will get a bit more strict on the rules to keep it fair for everybody. Um, and we can kind of go from there as this series progresses because I do have a lot of ideas for it, especially around the World Cup time. But again, I keep going back to it. I don't take anything away um, from this guy. You can see a little bit of speed up there. I don't know what was happening. There was just weird stuff happening with the connection. But I don't want to take anything away from Armada. If you are listening, man, you're a very, very, very good player. Very strong player. As I said, I did text you after. I did text him after or during the second half. And I was like, look, is the connection okay for you? Because if the connection was fine for him then, you know, it could be something on my end. That's no problem. That's not his fault. It could just be my connection to the server. Obviously, shit happens when you're playing online. You do get random games like this where it just feels like you are, like, playing a second behind or a split second behind. Um, but that's not his fault. You know what I mean? He can only play what's in front of him. The actual match experience for him might have been different. So I actually messaged him and I just texted him and I said, look, is the connection okay for you? He said that it was. He actually said that it was. Just so for full disclaimer, I did actually message him and make sure that the connection was fine. Um, but yeah, that was basically kind of it, lads. It just kind of petered out from there. I promise episode four is unbelievable. Episode four is probably my favorite episode of the series so far, just in terms of that we were very evenly matched in the teams the gameplay that we had you know it wasn't like a 4-2-4 formation style it was kind of more very like wing play possession based there was a lot of different possession based stuff there i don't know what happened with pk there he just got absolutely destroyed and he gets it across the box for a simple tap in finish so the game ended 4-0 to him we didn't play the third game because when i went back out our fourth opponent had actually already entered the match room. So I don't actually know what happened, um, but Aspect was in. So he actually messaged me and said, did someone else join? And then when he tried to rejoin, he couldn't join. So apologies, man, if you were trying to play the tour room. But I think, obviously, we will need to have a look at the connection for the next match if we do it um, and hope that it's better. Obviously, maybe it just could have been the time that we were playing or whatever. But full credit to you for the second match. You absolutely destroyed me. But yeah, let me know any feedback, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Huge thanks again to everyone uh, for checking out this series. I'll be back with episode four, which is an absolute beast of a game uh, or a couple of games that we had against our opponent aspect there that you saw me match against at the end. Until next time, lads, if you want to get involved, make sure you're following and subscribed and I'll be dropping a link to another friendly match lobby very soon. Peace.